Hey, YouTube land, grillers, smokers, and cookers. Hey, a lot of us like to make our own rubs, right? When I first got into it, there's a lot I, th that I didn't know. Don't get me wrong, there's some great rubs out there on the market. Uncle Steve's Shake, so Suckle Busters, I, the list goes on. Really top quality stuff. But if you wanted to customize one to your particular taste, there are some tricks and stuff that the big manufacturers do. And they're really not tricks, they're just stuff that if you did it, you haven't been into it, didn't look into it enough, then maybe you might not even know about them. So one of them is to get it a smoky flavor. It's just to use, uh, oh man, my camera keeps falling. It's just to keep you, is to use smoke salt, right? Use smoke salt. Uh, that's the simplest one, right? But the, the sneakier ones that they you might not know about is in a lot of steak rubs, you want a, a buttery flavor, right? Well, back when I didn't make, didn't like my, my own rubs as much, I, I, I'm like, what am I missing? Well, I didn't know that they made literally smo uh, powdered butter. No idea. So this is in my steak rub. And in my chicken, but don't tell anybody, right? Um, so... This is not a video about measurements or whatever. If you're into rubs, you, you'll you be able to figure out how much you might want in a rub if you do so choose to use it. We have deactivated charcoal. I didn't know this stuff existed. It's literally deactivated charcoal. It's, uh, it's, it's got a, a grill smell, basically. So that's in my, in my beef rub, like right here, this is my chicken rub. And it's just the herby chicken rub, so it doesn't have any uh, any of that in it. I could put it in it, right? But as you can see, the color of this beef rub, you can see the, the little grayer, because that's some of that deactivated charcoal in it. And then, if you guys don't know, I should have got a little tripod. You see what I can do there. But some may not know that there is, they, they make liquid smoke and then they, they dehydrate it into powdered smoke. So this is mesquite, this is my chicken rub. I'm not gonna tell you how much. And then like this, hickory smoke powder, it's real. It's not, it's not smoke flavoring, this is smoke powder. This is powdered smoke. So that uh, hickory one, that goes in my beef rub. And the final one that people might not know about is that you don't have to be a big manufacturer to get something to stop your own rubs from caking in the garage and becoming a brick in a bottle, basically. You don't have to buy it in bulk, it's just silicon dioxide. So you can, you can if you don't already, or if you're just starting out, you can make your own rub uh, that's it's big manufacturer quality at home. And then it's gonna have all your own herbs and spices, the amount of salt you like, the amount of heat, and then it'll have these added benefits to it. Some, some people also put MSG in there. I don't have a problem with MSG, I just don't put it in there. Um, so that's, that's my little secrets. Just a quick video today to be like uh, my good deed. All right, you guys stay safe out there. See you later.